forbid us to say something wrong against ourselves through our emotions and our suke. When you suke the mind, will, emotions, and the intellect. So if the devil can know your weakness, that you have a weakness in your emotions, he can tap you into your emotion and get you to say something out of your mouth and curse yourself through your emotions or curse somebody else or curse your child, curse your business or curse your finances by speaking these words. It's too cool in here, please. Temperature up just a little bit. Amen? Amen. The devil's job is to get you to hurt yourself with your mouth. Yes. And hurt yourself with your thought yes. process. You've been around people that seem like you don't want to be around them. They put out an energy, like a negative energy. They feel that nobody loves them. What they be doing is pushing people away from them. Yes. People are drawn to people who have a positive spirit, a loving spirit. It's like a magnet. People are drawn to them. But people with that negative attitude, they don't nasty attitude, they push people away. A lot of people, because they feel the devil got them to believe that nobody loves them. Amen. Amen. Nobody want to be their friend. Right. So they, they send out that vibration, that energy, and people stay away from us. Because right, right. we all sensitive to the spirit. You guys follow me? Amen. We got to watch how we project ourselves. Amen. Amen. But the attitude will change and things will start of happening different. Some people some people might be going through a cycle, always in the same cycle, all the time, over and across. You have to change your thought process. You have to change your attitude. You have to change your perspective. So you get the same results over and over again. Trying a different way, but you're trying the same, trying to do it the same way all the time. Somebody needs to change your attitude. Then you see some things are happening better for you. God used faith substance and word energy. He used faith substance and word energy to create the universe. He spoke, and the sound, the vibration of his words released the substance that became the stars and the planets. Words are carriers of substance. Words are carriers of substance. They carry the substance to wherever it is directed. Your words carry it. Yes. If you direct your faith towards your bank account, like I said you should, <laughs> or get a bank account too, direct it towards, uh -huh. But our works is dead. You don't get, we all is rich. We have, we, we spend a lot of fake money. 
Amen. But you need some something, the manifestation of that faith when it comes in real currency. Correct? So now we are the earth realm. So God wants to have his faith in this foolishness. Amen? Okay. <laughs> we have to open up avenues for God to run finances through. God gave you gifts and talents. Some of you think you're pray and pray, pray, and money is going to jump up in anything account. The wealth of the wicked laid up for the righteous, and somebody has to get the button, and automatically somebody's money is going to transfer it over to my bank. I ain't saying it's going to happen. It could happen, but it, it, it don't happen that often. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we need to open up uh, avenues for God to bless us, for God to bless us through being. Me and we're given the ability. Amen. Amen. So if you you lack, then you're the critical part of life, okay? I don't have nothing set up to for God to bless through. If I got you to be entrepreneur, store something. So God, you, it, then God has something to work through to bring something to you. Jesus. Amen? Because we in this is where we're not out of this world, but yet we're still in the physical plane. Some people are so heavenly minded they know earthly. So we still got to deal in this natural realm. You guys follow me? I can talk all this faith talk to you if you want to, and you still be broke. Amen. Amen. The rich in faith money. Y'all billionaires and trillionaires. Amen. Amen. Not until you work your faith or take action and do something in the natural realm. But that real paper or electronic money, they go through something to get to you. Amen. Amen. You guys follow me? Yeah. I'm trying to use uh, spiritual talking also with common sense and with reality without you, you being so way out there. <laughs> Look up in the sky, I think falling from hell, dust, rain, and it's smaller. You know, I pour out a blessing, pour out of a, you have a moon, oh, it's going to fall, money's going to fall from the sky. Some people are so way out there, they believe that. <laughs> I ain't saying I can't do it, but it's I haven't seen that lately. This is an airplane that got hit with a bunch of money that started falling <laughs> from the sky. Amen? So when I start teaching this, I try to put it in the proper perspective. Amen. I don't think it's... <laughs> Cause I, don't, I had to deal with somebody today that's just, that they just too far out there. You know what? Amen. I say words are the carrier of the substance. And I said, every, then we get to everything is connected. We're gonna get to this in scripture. Everything is connected. You understand that everything is connected. Everything is connected. See, in, in the quantum physics, when something is observed, okay, something changed it. So it's our observation our perspective that calls the way, way we see things causing to happen in the spiritual realm. You can have an attitude of possibilities and probabilities that, that you can do all things through Christ. Sometimes our thoughts don't match up with our words. We talk a bunch of faith talk, but we usually have doubt. Uh, and we talk it, just talking it, and yet we, we don't, we doubt what we say. That ain't gonna happen for you. You're not gonna see uh, 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 the miraculous happen. And you're gonna have to hear both line up. 
when both line up. Your thoughts have to line up with your words. So the man think it, so is he. You gotta work. Now, he believed the servant was healed. He was healed. Like the woman at the bishop place said, if I just touched the hem of the garment, I would be made whole. The telling is your faith that healed you. She believed that she just touched the hem of the garment. It was her belief and her faith. She didn't have no doubt in her mind. And when she touched it, with that faith touch, the virtue was released, that healing was released. She didn't die. That's why she pressed her way through the crowd. She made it. Some of you guys saw it pressing your way through in faith in certain situations. Sometimes you've been in situations so long, you believe that you can't do no better than you've been doing. You get to come out of that, break that cycle of that negative thought process. Amen. Faith come by hearing. hearing. You gotta watch what people are saying in your ears. You gotta watch what people are saying on that telephone. Oh, right. That telephone is the agent of Satan sometimes. You're the wrong person in speaking in your ear gates. Negative words. <laughs> the little fox is there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in an ear gate. Like I teach you that the ear gate I gave you a spiritual schematic of a of man, the ear gate leads straight to your spirit. So when people they speak in your ear. A lot of people have heard negative things all their lives about them and they start to believe what they heard. Then they start reacting the way the person told them. So faith don't come out reading. Faith come by hearing. So I advise you to, and hearing about the word of God, so I advise you to read the word of God out loud. Amen. 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 So I'm hearing the word of God. Amen. Now that would build your faith up by hearing, not by just a reading, by the hearing the word of God. So you get the word of God going in your place, so you can hear it. Yeah. That would build your faith up. Are you guys following me tonight? Yeah. Give the Lord a hand, pray. So I'll take my time slow. Mm -hmm. We are sowing our own seeds and making our own choices for good or evil. We are doing this. We blame the devil for everything. In Deuteronomy, I'm going to get dark, Deuteronomy 30, verse 19, 30th chapter, verse 19.
because of our emotion, the way we feel. It's not about your feelings. thing in you and you are